became Britain's youngest ever Formula One driver at just 19 years old. And since then, Lando Norris has secured his place as one of the motorsport's biggest stars on and off the track. And as he gets back behind the wheel of the new season, he's here right now. Do you know what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. There were a number of disappointments over the last week or so. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, missing this show, missing Dancing on Ice. And then I looked at who's coming out and I thought, if I miss that, I'll be absolutely <laughs> I know. furious. I saw you earlier. You said you still have COVID, but you've come <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. Uh, so, welcome. Uh, Thank you. Amazing. Congratulations on, uh, on the last season. Yeah, well done, you. Um, uh, you yeah, we'll talk about the launch of the new car and the new season in, in a moment. Um, at that moment, when the season comes to, the, to an end, yeah. do you immediately start looking forward or do you get some time off? Uh, no, you immediately start looking. Like, you already start looking at the next season, like, pretty much halfway through the current season. Yeah. So, already by, you know, March, well, March to August, um, pretty more towards August, you already start looking at some of the mm -hmm. things for the following season. But I get a bit of a time off. Like, January is my time to relax, but then at the same time, it's my time to prepare for, for yeah, this year. So um, I get a little bit of this. You've had so much success so young, and I think a lot of people would be thinking, God, what is the secret to that? And as I was reading something you said, and I thought, God, that, maybe that's it. And it was that you said, in order to get better, you find out what your weaknesses are, you yep. pinpoint those and work on them till they become strengths. Yes, like it's, I mean, you know, I've been racing since I was eight years old. So you would have thought I'd probably be quite good at everything. But, you know, you're, I'm against 19 of the other best drivers in the world. Mm -hmm. So to go up against them, and if you want to make these, like, differences, differences in Formula One can be thousandths of a second, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like um, one second or two seconds. That's an eternity yeah. to us. So to find these little, little things, it can be found in every area possible. So you have to kind of hone in on where you're weak comparing to other people or where you think you might be weak and just make those small differences and... You add them up. And well, you, out of those yeah. 19, you've finished six, which, yeah. you know, that's... Not good enough. But... Not good enough. I appreciate that for you. Uh, yeah, but that's, you know, that's not a bad season for, for most. Um, and there'd be many uh, veteran drivers who would yeah. have liked to have been in that position. However, with those weaknesses, where do you think they were? What can you improve? Not necessarily sort of personally, but yeah. with that, but also with the car, the team. Um, one of the biggest things is consistency and delivering every single weekend. And I think that's where you see Lewis, for example, is every, like a bad weekend for him is, well, it's probably like second place, but it's, mm. it's, you know, a very small error that he's made. Whereas maybe I make slightly bigger ones at the moment, but it's just making sure my mistakes or my bad things are still at a very high level and are still very good in general. So, um, you know, a couple of mistakes last year where I had a bit of contact with someone and it put me out of the race or I lost a couple of positions from the start or something like that. Um, not changing your tyres in the rain. Yeah, mm. not my fault, but yeah. Um, <laughs> just these, it can be a small thing which can have a big a big consequence or a big impact, you know, especially if it's in qualifying, it can then impact the, the race on Sunday and so on. So just trying to like iron out these little things to make sure I'm consistently there every weekend and that's when you get the points. So many different variables. Uh, one of those big ones being the car, of course, and there is yeah. a new car on its way. Are you excited to get behind I'm very excited. Yeah. Probably the most excited I've been since... Uh, the first season of Formula One, mm -hmm. because it's, it's all completely new. Like, it's going to be new for us as drivers. It's new for the mechanics, the engineers. The whole philosophy of how to make the cars mm. is, like, refreshed, and it's new for everyone. So good opportunity for us as drivers to kind of take advantage of that, but also good for the teams to try and gain advantage and get a bit closer to the top. Well, there, there is a, a level playing field this yep. season, and although it sounds like it is crazy money. I think the cap is 140 million for yeah. each team. Yeah. Uh, so that means that the very wealthy teams have to come down. Yep. There's more space for, the, for the, 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 the teams that have been less successful in the past or are aiming for bigger exactly. things. How do you think that's going to affect the season? Uh, I mean, it should be good for, good for probably you, for, for watching it, for the fans watching, um, especially throughout the season, you know, because the top teams who did... The teams who did well last year get to develop the car less than mm. the teams who finished last place, for example. If you're in the middle, you get like a, an equal share. So um, throughout the season, you won't be able to see the top teams develop the car as much and you'll be able to see the bottom teams develop. So hopefully you don't see people running away with things mm, as much and you see it almost evening out, which will be a good thing. Mm. Um, but over the next few years, like this is getting tighter and tighter with uh, the money shared between teams and so on. So it's good for us because we couldn't operate at the budget of... Mercedes, for example, or Red Bull or Ferrari. Um, so we have a better opportunity to, to get closer, which 
I'm very much looking forward to it. And when you're looking sort of the new season, March, Bahrain, are you excited? Are you nervous? Is it like looking up a mountain and thinking, God, I've got to get over that? It's both. Yeah. It's both. Um, like it's another season for me to improve, you know, and, and do better and have my best season to date. Um, you never know when your next podium or next win could be, you know, hopefully that's this year, but you never know. Um, but there's so many just opportunities for us and for every team this season. And you just yeah. want to get started. Like, although it doesn't feel like we've had a long break, you know, it's just been, what, we finished like 20th of December, so it's not been too long. Yeah. Um, but you make the most of that and, like, all I, you know, it's all I've done since I was a little kid, so all I want to do is get back to it again. Well, you've, uh, you've got a new teammate um, mm -hmm. uh, and that seemed to gel pretty well with yep. uh, Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, Carlos Sainz, who went to Ferrari, was... Uh, a a massive, a great mate of yours, yeah. um, and it was a it was a terrific partnership. But I know that, that that's on the track, off the track. I I talked to Lewis Hamilton's dad once, mm -hmm. and he was saying, I said, "What's he like?" Yeah, and uh, and he won't mind me saying this, but he said he is as competitive off the track as he is on right. it. If he yeah. go, if he if he um, buys a a motorbike, it's got to be the fastest. He's mm -hmm. got to go the fastest. If he buys a sit-on mower, it's got, got to, to be, be the, the fastest <laughs> and the best. So is that the same with you? And I mention um, Carlos Sainz because you play golf together. Are you yeah. as competitive in everything? Absolutely. And I get, I reckon I get more frustrated in golf than I do <laughs> than I do in racing. I would say golf is one of the most frustrating sports I've ever done in my life. Don't do it then. <laughs> <laughs> True, but when you when you do well. It's like, it feels like the most rewarding okay. sport you can ever do as well. So, um, but the thing is, like a lot of people do it. I get to play against Zach, who's my boss, and um, it was like I've been him a couple of times, but he still beats me a bit too often mm. than I like. Um, so having one over on your boss is always a, a yeah. nice thing. <laughs> but also against other drivers, you know, to ha have a bit of time to relax because yeah. it's something where I can get away from racing just mm. for a day, say. Yeah. Um, but I get to travel the world, so there's lovely courses that I get to go and play as well. So it's like my one of my main hobbies or things I enjoy outside of racing. And there's a lovely race circuit, a new one, Miami, which sun will be shining. That mm -hmm. must always be nice. Yeah, I think uh, that's the one I look forward to the most. There's a few this year that we've missed, like the last few years. We go back to Japan, we go back to Singapore. Um, but Miami, I think, is the one yeah. every driver or probably most fans as well are looking forward to the most this season. One of the, the great things about... Um, watching Formula 1, being a fan of Formula 1 and following it, is, um, is Drive to Survive. And yeah. you, you know that you guys are followed by cameras all the time. Yeah. Uh, that something happens and you think, oh, that's definitely going to be... Going to be in it. Drive. Just to, to explain, Drive to Survive is essentially the, 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 the backstage story as a separate show yeah. uh, on Netflix, which always comes out later. And I think it's out actually out on, uh, in March, March this year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for you, is, there, is it the same for you uh, when something happens, you think, oh, God, gonna that's going to be on trying to survive. <laughs> a little bit. Um, of course, if it's a good thing, you want it to be. If it's a bad thing, you probably don't want it to be. But there's, I think what makes it so good is that you see a lot of the bad things as well. Mm. That's why people love it. They don't just see the glory and everything. They see people going through tough times. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited for this season because, I mean, it's my best season in Formula 1. They followed us in Monza where we had the 1-2 and, and Daniel's win. Uh, they followed us in, uh, in Monaco when I had mm. my podium. So, yeah, I look forward to it myself. I don't normally like watching myself on, on TV, but I look forward to it. But you want the best bits on there, then? Yes, yeah. I look forward to just, uh, just the, the good the ones. The good bits. And what's lovely about it is it brings a whole new audience to Formula One. Exactly. Not necessarily, you know, obviously there are the sort of diehard fans like Phil, but also it brings a different element into it. Yeah, I think, like, uh, you know, America, Texas last year, we had one of the biggest fan attendances, I think, ever in, in Formula One. And a lot of that is down to... Netflix and the amount of fans who have you know come up to me and said oh I'm watching Formula One I'm a fan of you now because of seeing it there on you Netflix go. Yeah. is um is really cool so uh yeah we'll be starting that off very soon again they'll probably be following us uh in the launch yeah. in a few days um and uh yeah you got to see more like what the car's gonna look like and everything very I just cool. wait, uh, let's just clarify this because in my ear our ear a moment ago uh, the, the call went up from the back of our gallery saying that that Martin Frizzell who is who is our boss yeah wants to adopt you <laughs> now I just I just have to I just have to clarify that I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna ask it for you because you are the boss <laughs> what do you mean the program is going to officially adopt Lander does he know this <laughs> No, he doesn't know this. It's happening today. Yeah? Oh, bless. Do I get paid? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we're, apparently, we're going to follow you all season, which oh, I will, uh, will awesome. do we'll anyway, do but as a show, yeah. we're going to do that. That'll be awesome. We, I look yeah. forward to it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, and stay safe and have <laughs> no, a, have I look a brilliant Thanks very much. That's great. I look forward to it. He's having a very confused look <laughs> in his face. But uh, So, uh, we'll also give you uh, £20 million to have our This Morning logo on your shirt. <laughs> We've also got, I've got some things for you as well. Have you? Yeah, we've got a few Lego boxes, because we have... We're launching the, the Lego box we've had, the collaboration we have with Lego. Oh, amazing. So if you want to go back into quarantine now. Yeah, yeah, yes. you could have done with we've that last week. Things, oh, uh, and also merchandise. We've got some new merchandise because that's uh, out today, actually. So yeah. if you want to go and buy stuff, we've got some free and stuff. And your merchandise does incredibly well. It does, you know. Yes. Yeah. Mine's <laughs> the best stuff. Um, uh, so, uh, <laughs> McLaren Orch, good luck with that on Friday. Thank you. Yep. Good luck with, uh, with Bahrain, the start of the new season. Uh, yep. That'd be amazing. And, uh, and also, Drive to Survival, keep an eye out for in, uh, in March. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Cheers.